Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this uh, right triangle uh, ABC such that uh, this uh, BD is an altitude as you can see in this uh, diagram and moreover uh, this uh, side length uh, AB is uh, 45 units and this uh, side length uh, CD is uh, 48 units. And now we are going to calculate these unknown sides uh, AD this uh, altitude BD and this side uh, BC. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Let me make it very clear that this uh, given figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started and here's the very first thing we are going to do. Let's go ahead and label uh, this uh, triangle. Let me go ahead and call uh, this side uh, A, this side uh, lowercase b this altitude or height uh, h i'm going to call this uh, ad side length uh, as x and this uh, cd as y and now our task is to calculate the value of x h and b and here's our next step let's go ahead and focus on this triangle uh, adb and we know that this is our right triangle so therefore we are going to use the pythagorean theorem and here's our pythagorean theorem a square plus b square equal to c square let me go ahead and call this uh, longest leg of this right triangle as a side c i'm going to call this side a and this side b so let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, pythagorean formula a in our case is x so this is going to become x square b in our case is h so that's going to become h square equal to c in our case is lowercase a so this is going to become a square let me go ahead and call this our equation number one and now let's focus on this uh, other triangle uh, bdc and we know that this is a right triangle as well so therefore we are going to use the pythagorean theorem and here's our pythagorean theorem once again a square plus b square equal to c square let me go ahead and call this uh, longest leg as side c i'm gonna call this side a and this side b so let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, pythagorean formula a in our case is uh, y so this is going to be y square b in our case is uh, h so this is h square equal to c in our case is b so this is going to become b square let me go ahead and call this our equation uh, number two and here's our next step let's focus on this uh, big uh, right uh, triangle uh, abc and let's go ahead and apply the pythagorean theorem on this uh, triangle and here's our pythagorean theorem once again a square plus b square equal to c square let me go ahead and represent this uh, longest leg as our side c i'm going to call this side a and uh, this side lowercase uh, b and now we can see that this whole uh, side length uh, c equal to the sum of these two individual lengths x and this individual length uh, y so therefore c could be written as x plus uh, y so let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, pythagorean formula so this is going to become uh, a square plus b square equal to c in our case is x plus y so i'm going to write down x plus y whole square and now let's recall this famous identity a plus b whole square could be written as a square plus b square plus 2ab we are going to apply it on the right hand side so therefore our this equation is going to be on the left hand side we are going to leave it as it is and on the right hand side when we apply this identity that is going to give us x square plus y square plus 2 times xy and now let's focus on a square and we know our a square equal to x square plus h square so therefore i'm going to replace this a square by x square plus h square and likewise uh, this uh, b square in our case is equal to y square plus h square so i'm going to replace this one by y square plus uh, h square so therefore this equation is going to become uh, x square plus uh, h square plus uh, y square plus 
h square equal to the right hand side is going to stay same and now we can see this x square y square cancels out with this x square y square on the right hand side let's go ahead and combine the like terms on the left hand side so this is going to give us a 2h square equal to 2 times xy Let's go ahead and divide both sides by 2. This 2 and 2 is gone. This 2 and 2 is gone as well. So therefore we are ended up with the h square equal to x times y. Let me call this as our equation number 3. And now let's recall this uh, equation uh, 1. And here I have copied down our equation 1. And we know that our uh, h square is from equation 3 is uh, x times y so therefore i'm going to replace this one by x times y and on the right hand side a in our case is 45 so i'm going to replace this a by 45 so therefore we got uh, x square plus x time y equal to 45 whole square and we know that this uh, y is equal to 48 so i'm going to replace this one by 48 so therefore this whole thing is going to become x square plus uh, 48 uh, x equals to when we square this thing that is going to give us 20 25 let's move uh, this uh, on the left hand side as you can see in this uh, next step now we can see that this is our quadratic equation and we are going to solve it by grouping and factoring so therefore let's focus on this 2025 uh, and here i have copied it down and now we know that 2025 could be written as 45 times 45 and 45 could be written as 15 times 3 and this 45 could be written as 5 times 9 now let's multiply 15 times 5 is going to give us uh, 75 times 3 times 9 is going to be 27 so therefore our this middle part 48 x uh, we can tweak it uh, by using these numbers i can write this thing uh, plus uh, 75 x minus uh, 27 x as you can see in this uh, next step i have replaced this 48 x uh, by these ones and now we can see between first these two terms x is in common and between these last two terms negative 27 is in common so let me go ahead and factor out x so this is going to become x plus 75 minus 27 times x plus 75 equal to 0 and now we can see x plus 75 and x plus 75 are in common so therefore this whole thing could be written as x minus 27 times x plus 75 equal to 0 let's go ahead and separate them i can write x minus 27 equal to 0 and this is going to become x plus 75 equal to 0 let's focus on this first equation that is going to give us x equal to positive 27 and this is going to give us x equal to negative 75 and now we know that x represents the side length so therefore this cannot be negative so therefore we are going to reject this negative value of x and we are going to accept x equal to positive 27 so thus our x value turns out to be positive 27 units and now let's recall this uh, equation uh, 3 and here i have copied down equation uh, 3 but we know that our x value is uh, 27 and uh, y value is uh, 48 as you can see over here as you can see in this next step i replace this uh, x by 27 and y by 48 so therefore h square tan turns out to be 12 96 let's undo this square by taking the square root on uh, both sides so therefore our h value turns out to be positive 36 so therefore our this uh, h value turns out to be 36 and here's our final step let's recall this uh, equation uh, 2 and here i have copied down equation 2 
now we can see our y value is 48 and this h value is 36 as we can see over here as you can see in this next step i replace this y by 48 and h by 36 now we know that 48 square is 2304 and 36 square is 12 96 so let's go ahead and add these two numbers so b square turns out to be 3600 let's undo this square by taking the square root on both sides so therefore our b value turns out to be 60 units so therefore our this b value turns out to be 60 units so thus our unknown sides turn out to be a d equal to 27 units and this height b d turns out to be 36 units and finally this side length b c turns out to be 60 units and that's our final answer thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye